Tony Gutierrez, AP file, in this March 2, 2019 file photo, Texas Tech guard Jared Culver, 23, gets through the defense of TCU's Alex Robinson, center rear, and Desmond Bain, right rear, in the first half of an NCAA college basketball game in Fort Worth, Texas. Texas Tech faces Northern Kentucky in West Region action on Friday, March 22. AP Photo, Tony Gutierrez, File, Tulsa, as Texas Tech finished its Thursday practice at Tulsa Union High School, coaches had to nudge and prod sophomore Jared Culver onto the team bus. He needed to take five more shots and go one-on-one -on -one against the team manager and watch two more scouting clips on his laptop, as coach Chris Beard explained later at an NCAA media availability ahead of Friday's first-round matchup with Northern Kentucky in the West Region. It's part of Culver's basketball DNA, a key reason how the Dallas native transformed in two seasons from a promising high school prospect who stayed home for college to an intriguing freshman on an Elite Eight team to the Big 12 Player of the Year. I was never a great player myself, but no one loves this game more than me. Nobody, Beard said, by way of explanation. Culver loves it as much as I do, and I've only said that about a few players in my career. He's a student of the game. That's why he's going to be a great pro, it may be sooner rather than later. The 6-6 sophomore is projected as an NBA lottery prospect if he leaves early for the draft. That's nice, Culver said, but he has more immediate concerns. Third-seeded Tech 26-6 enters the NCAA tournament wanting to match or exceed 2018, beginning with 14th-seeded Northern Kentucky, 26-8. Culver is a crucial part of the equation, leading Tech in scoring, rebounding and assists while ranking second in steals. I don't really worry about that, Culver said of the NBA. I'm just focused on this team and what we have to accomplish. It's not done yet. When it's done, I'll start thinking about that stuff, of course, it's hard to ignore. Northern Kentucky coach John Brannon and forward Drew McDonald each called him a top 10 draft pick Wednesday, if they're saying that, Culver said, it's great, but I'm not worrying about that now, growing up for all talent and praise, the naturally quiet, Culver admits he's had to work on his vocal leadership. Culver still likes a challenge, in his own manner. When teammate Davide Moretti suggested he would win a head-to-head -head game of HORSE, Culver raised an eyebrow and shook his head negatively, but deferred to teammates and assistant coaches to carry on the debate. His father, Hiawatha Culver Jr., is a Baptist pastor and Tex team chaplain, leading the pre-game prayer before each home game. Jared likes singing gospel songs on the team bus before games, with God's Got a Blessing, a personal favorite it. As the youngest of three brothers, Culver isn't he only athlete in the family. Trey was a two-time NCAA indoor high jump champ at Tech. JJ Averages 17.8 points and 6.7 rebounds for Wayland Baptist, an NAIA school, for sure, it kept us humble. We always put God first which helped us a lot, Culver said. That's kind of made me the person and player I am today, just growing up with them pushing me. I wasn't always bigger than them. They always pushed me to better. They pushed me to be great, actually, the decision Culver's decision to commit to Tech out of Lubbock Coronado High School was huge for Beard, who had just replaced Tubby Smith, it's critically important, Tech Athletic Director Kirby Hoke had said. We want to keep all the Division I athletes in West Texas at Texas Tech, and the success of Jared Culver is only going to help us in doing that, Culver said it all came down to Beard's message, even as he acknowledged the coach rides him as hard in practice as anyone, he's a truth teller. They haven't lied. I trusted coach a lot, Culver said. He said whether I was in Lubbock or New York or anywhere, he'd still be recruiting me. I felt that, early signs of an unbelievable talent Northern Kentucky studied hours of Texas Tech game film ahead of Friday's first-round NCAA meeting here. For all the hard work of his staff, the footage of Culver will only partially prepare his players for the challenge ahead, Brannon said, anytime it's on film, it's different when you see him in person, his length and speed, his ability to get where he wants to go, Brannon said.
the great ones always look like they have about 30% more to give. That what he looks like. He always looks like he can turn it on at any time, that's a sign of unbelievable talent, teammates noticed, even as a freshman, when Culver averaged 11.2 points a game but was overshadowed by Keenan Evans and Zaire Smith. Culver's role changed this season while he continued to work on his game, center Norris Odie said, we knew last year he was the type of player that he is now, Odie said. Twitter, at Chuck Carlton